Good evening. This is Akashwani. I am Valsa Williams with the news at nine. The headlines: Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurates and lays the foundation stone of multiple development projects worth more than 8,000 crore rupees in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Mr. Modi also flags off country's first Namo Bharat rapid rail between Ahmedabad and Bhuj and six Vande Bharat trains. Campaigning ends for the first phase of Jammu and Kashmir assembly elections. Taliban suspends polio vaccination campaign despite rising number of cases in Afghanistan. In hockey, defending champions India reach final of the Asian Champions Trophy, beating South Korea 4-1 in Hulunpur, China. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated and laid the foundation stone of multiple development projects worth more than 8,000 crore rupees at Ahmedabad in Gujarat this afternoon. Mr. Modi flagged off the country's first Namo Bharat rapid rail between Ahmedabad and Bhuj and several Vande Bharat trains. He also handed over completed houses under both the urban and rural segments of the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana (PMAY) to the beneficiaries in the state. He also sanctioned more than 30,000 houses under PMAYG. Addressing the gathering, Mr. Modi said, "This is a golden time for the country." Bharat ke liye ye samay Bharat ka golden period hai. Bharat ka amrit kaal hai. Agle 25 saal mein hum apne desh ko vishit banana hai. Aur isme Gujarat ki bahut badi bhumi ka hai. Gujarat aaj manufacturing ka bahut bada hub ban raha hai. Aaj Gujarat भारत के सबसे वेल कनेक्टेड राज्यों में से एक है वो दिन दूर नहीं जब गुजरात भारत को पहला मेड इन इंडिया ट्रांसपोर्ट एयरक्राफ्ट सी टू नाइन्टी फाइव देगा द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सैद नमो भारत रैपिड रेल हैज ऑल्सो बीन फ्लैगड ऑफ विच विल प्रूव टू बी अ माइल स्टोन इन दर्बन कनेक्टिविटी नमो भारत रैपिड रेल देश में एक शहर से दूसरे शहर रोज आने जाने वाले हमारे मिडिल क्लास परिवारों को बहुत सुविधा देने वाली है इसे नौकरी पेशा व्यापार कारोबार और पढ़ाई लिखाई से जो साथी जुड़े हुए हैं उनको बहुत लाभ मिलेगा आने वाले समय में देश के अनेक शहरों को नमो भारत रैपिड रेल कनेक्ट करने वाली है Mr Modi said the union government has taken unprecedented decisions during the last 100 days for the welfare of every section of society and several projects related to rail road port and air connectivity were inaugurated earlier in the day Mr Modi flagged off the second phase of the metro rail network connecting Ahmedabad to Gandhinagar and Gift City he also inaugurated the fourth reinvest global renewable energy meet in Gandhinagar Mr Modi also dedicated to the nation the Pradhan Mantri Surya Ghar Muft Bijli Yojana in Gandhinagar Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal today launched the Bharat Startup Knowledge Access Registry Bhaskar in New Delhi Bhaskar is an interactive online platform that will centralize streamline and enhance collaboration among key stakeholders within the entrepreneurial ecosystem speaking on the occasion mr goel said this platform will bring hope aspirations and success to kickstart an ambitious revolution in this sector bhaskar we hope will help the startup players the people who are involved in the startup ecosystem connect with each other collaborate with each other cooperate with each other also compete with each other to see what else is your competition in similar areas what the competition is doing smarter and better it has all the ingredients when it comes to knowledge and the advantage with technology is that it's a great unifier The government has authorized the Staff Selection Commission SSC to perform Aadhaar authentication on voluntary basis for establishing the identity of candidates during the various stages of examination. In a gazette notification, the Ministry of Personnel has asked SSC to adhere to all the relevant provisions of the Act, rules and regulations made by the Unique Identification Authority of India. The development comes in the wake of several reported cases of fraud, malpractices and unfair means adopted by candidates to clear the competitive examinations.
In Manipur, the government has lifted a ban on internet and mobile data services from this afternoon. The government also said that schools and colleges will be open from tomorrow. Earlier, the internet and mobile data services had been suspended and schools and colleges were closed following student protests in three valley districts. Delhi Chief Minister and AAP convener Arvind Kejriwal today chaired a meeting of the Political Affairs Committee of the party to decide over the name of the new Delhi Chief Minister. Speaking to media after the meeting, party leader and Delhi Minister Saurabh Bharadwaj said Mr. Kejriwal held one-on-one meeting with committee members and ministers of the Delhi government. He said the Legislative Party meeting will be held tomorrow to elect the new leader. In Kerala, five wards in Tiruvalli and Mampad panchayats in Malapuram district have been declared as containment zones in the wake of the death of a 24-year-old student whose body samples were confirmed to be Nipah positive. The district authorities said restrictions are in place in these areas as per Nipah protocol. Meanwhile, a 50-member team comprising health workers began a door-to-door survey in Tiruvalli today to list out fever cases and other health issues in the region. India has won 16 medals and medallions of excellence at World Skills 2024 in Lyon, France. The accolades include four bronze in patisserie and confectionery, industry 4.0, hotel reception and renewable energy. In addition to that, the Indian delegation earned 12 medallions of excellence, a testament to their exceptional skills and consistent performance across various trades. Congratulating the contingent, Union Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Minister Jayant Chaudhary said their dedication and hard work has made the nation proud. He said the government will continue to support and nurture talent, enabling more young Indians to excel on global platforms. The event saw more than 1,400 participants from over 70 countries competing in diverse skill categories. This is Akashwani giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our X handle at AIR News Alerts. Campaigning ended this evening for the first phase of assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir. 24 assembly constituencies spread over seven districts will go to polls in this phase on the 18th of this month. The fate of 219 candidates will be determined by over 23.27 lakh voters, including 5.66 lakh young voters in this phase. Polling for the second phase in the Union Territory will take place on the 25th of September and the third phase will be held on the 1st of October. Tomorrow is the last date for withdrawal of candidature for the third phase. Forty assembly constituencies will go to polls in this phase. In Haryana, today was the last date for withdrawal of nominations for the single phase assembly polls. Voting for the 90 member state assembly will be held on the 5th of October. Eid Milad un Nabi, the birthday of Prophet Hazrat Muhammad, was celebrated with religious fervor and due reverence in various parts of the country today. Milad Mehfuz and Sirat conferences were held where ulemas of religious scholars highlighted the life and teachings of the Prophet. Milad processions were also organized to mark the occasion. In the national capital, the main procession was taken out in central Delhi, which culminated at Jama Masjid. The Indian Meteorological Department has forecast heavy to very heavy rainfall over Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh tomorrow. Heavy rainfall is also expected over Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Uttarakhand and Rajasthan over the next two to three days. In a related development, there is a possibility of heavy rains once again in Madhya Pradesh from tomorrow. IMD scientist Pradeep Gupta informed that a Heavy to very heavy rains in the next 24 hours in 38 districts including Singroli and Balaghat. अगले 24 घंटे के दौरान मध्य प्रदेश के मौसम की बात करते हैं तो जो पूर्वी जिले हैं जैसे सिंगरौली, सीधी, रीवा, मऊगंज, सहरोल, उमरिया, जबलपुर, डिंडोरी, मंडला, बालाघाट इन जिलों में भारी बारिश की संभावना के साथ ऑरेंज अलर्ट जारी किया गया है दमोह कटनी पन्ना सतना छतरपुर सागर छिंदवाड़ा सिवनी इन जिलों में भारी बारिश की संभावना के साथ येलो अलर्ट जारी किया गया है India's equity benchmark indices rallied to record highs with the BSE mid-cap index ending on a flat note while small-cap index was up 0.3%. A report from the business desk. 
At close, the Sensex surged 98 points or 0.12% at 82,988 and the NSE Nifty was up 27 points at 25,383. In the forex market today, Indian rupee was unchanged at 83 rupees 89 paise against the US dollar. In the Indian bullion market, 24 karat gold was trading at 73,850 rupees per 10 grams a short while ago. In the global crude market, Brent crude was trading 0.84% up to trade at $72.81 per barrel. Dev Harjit Srivastava for Akashvani News. The United Nations today announced that the Taliban has suspended all polio vaccination campaigns in Afghanistan. UN agencies said they were notified about the suspension just days before the scheduled September immunization campaign, though no official reason was provided. Representatives from the Taliban-led government did not comment on the situation immediately. Over the past three years, the number of polio cases have risen in the country, with the virus spreading to provinces that had remained free of the disease for an extended period. Afghanistan and Pakistan remain the only two countries in the world where the spread of the paralyzing and potentially fatal disease has not been eradicated. In the flood hit Central Europe, the death toll has risen as more casualties have been recorded in the Czech Republic, Poland and Austria. As per the media reports, in the Czech Republic, one person drowned in a stream close to the town of Gruntal in the northeast of the country, while seven people are still missing. In Poland, four people died, while in Austria, two people died in the northeast of the country. In Slovakia, the overflowing of the Danube River caused flooding in the old town area of the capital, Bratislava. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said on X that he had postponed all his international obligations due to the extreme weather conditions and the ongoing floods in Hungary. Media reported that though conditions have stabilized in some parts of Central Europe, others are bracing themselves for more disruption and danger. Today is the International Day for the Preservation of the Ozone Layer. It is observed every year on the 16th of September. The theme for this year is Montreal Protocol, Advancing Climate Actions. A report. The ozone layer, a fragile shield of gas, protects the Earth from the harmful portion of the rays of the sun, thus helping preserve life on the planet. A number of commonly used chemicals have been found to be extremely damaging to the ozone layer. In 1994, the UN General Assembly established 16th of September as the International Day for Preservation of the Ozone Layer to honor the universal ratification of the Vienna Convention and the Montreal Protocol. The purpose of the day is to increase awareness and encourage for climate actions to phase out the uses of ozone depleting substances to help protect the ozone layer for future generations. Swati Rukheja from News Desk for Akashmani News. In sports in the Asian Champions Trophy 2024, India are through to the final after thrashing South Korea 4-1 in Hulunpur, China. Harman Preet Singh scored two goals, while Uttam Singh and German Preet Singh hit one goal each in the second semi-final. From the South Korean team, Yang Ji-hoon hit the only goal. India will now face host China tomorrow to chase a second consecutive goal. In the first semi-final of the trophy, Pakistan lost to China 0-2. In the shootout, they drew 1-1 in regular time. India is the only unbeaten team in the tournament, having defeated China 3-0, Japan 5-1, Malaysia 8-1, Korea 3-1 and Pakistan 2-1. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. From Minister Narendra Modi inaugurates and lays the foundation stone of multiple development projects worth more than 8,000 crore rupees in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Mr. Modi also flags off country's first Namo Bharat rapid rail between Ahmedabad and Bhuj and six Vande Bharat trains. Campaigning ends for the first phase of Jammu and Kashmir Assembly elections. Taliban suspends polio vaccination campaign despite rising number of cases in Afghanistan. And in hockey, defending champions India reach final of the Asian Champions Trophy beating South Korea 4-1 in Hohenpoer, China. For details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.gov.in and News on the IR app. That is all in the news at 9. Good night.